What's up guys? So I've gotten a lot of requests on how to combine calisthenics and weight training to one simple program. Because you know, I don't believe that you should be isolating one of the two. I don't think you should do exclusively calisthenics or exclusively weight training. I believe that a combination of the two will give you the best body performance gains, you know, in terms of relative strength, absolute strength, the way your aesthetics look. I think that you should combine the two. So with that being said, how do you develop a system that effectively uh, builds your calisthenics strength and your weight training strength? Very simple. The first thing you have to do is identify which weaknesses will likely occur from doing calisthenics. Now, in the past videos that I've made about it, I've already identified these areas. This would be the posterior chain, uh, possibly the upper back, side delts, and upper chest, and then also the rotator cuff and rear delt. So five key areas, that's what we have to target, right? And of course, there's other places that we could uh, hit as well with the weight training, but for the sake of this video, I'll be giving you one alternative of combining calisthenics and weight training into one effective routine, all right? So first thing you have to understand, is that in calisthenics, there's not enough horizontal pulling. I mean, there's a lot of vertical pulling, there's a lot of weighted pull-ups, weighted chin-ups, things of that nature, but I think you need more horizontal pulling. So my go-to exercise, I definitely, definitely, definitely incorporate some sort of T-bar row, a barbell row, or a dumbbell row, or even a cable row. But make sure you do some type of horizontal row. For every horizontal push that you do, you want to mimic the opposite. So you want to do a horizontal row. So if you're going to do weighted dips and push-ups in one session, Make sure you have two horizontal equivalents. You understand that? You always want to have an equal ratio between horizontal push, horizontal pull, vertical push, vertical pull. Makes sense, right? So I definitely think that you should be doing some sort of row, you know, because otherwise you're really limiting your upper back gains and your overall posture. Because like I've said in my past videos, lots of guys do calisthenics, they, they're hunched over. My buddy sent me a picture the other day of a dude who did, does calisthenics, right? His posture was like this. It was so bad, I couldn't help but laugh. I was laughing my fucking ass off because he looked ridiculous, honestly. So doing the horizontal pulls is going to fix that. Secondly, I do recommend that you incorporate incline pressing, incline pressing with a pause because calisthenics will not build your upper chest to a large extent. It just won't. So you want to make sure that you include incline barbell pressing. And if you want, you can even do it with dumbbells if you want a greater stretch. But I would not skip out on the incline presses. Next, you're going to have to do some side delt work because there's no calisthenics exercise that can really build your, your 3D delts. It's impossible. So get yourself a pair of dumbbells at Walmart. You know, it's going to cost you 10 bucks and do yourself some side raises. Okay, you can even do crucifix holds if you want to go that route. Or if you have a band, you could do band side raises but i would definitely not skip out on the side raises next up you got to do some band face pulls band face pulls are extremely important for your shoulder health you know rear delts all that type of stuff so get yourself a pair of bands they're 10 bucks or you know find something that you could use pull it to the forehead or the nose or the chin or the neck wherever the fuck you want to pull it to and that's going to effectively build that region right then another area that you're going to have to hit is the posterior chain i'm sorry calisthenics the legs it doesn't really uh, do yourself some justice. You're gonna wanna include some squats and deadlifts. So I would actually recommend that you start training your legs like a power lifter, okay? Do numerous forms of pulls off the floor, you know, deficit deadlift, stiff leg deadlift, all the type of stuff. Uh, for squats, you know, a combination of zerker, front squat, back squat, hit your legs like a power lifter. So think of it like this, right? The upper body is primarily weighted calisthenics. So simple, you know, weighted chit ups, Weighted dips, all the type of stuff. And then for accessory work, it's not accessory calisthenics, it's accessory weight training in the gym. So instead of doing an inverted row, you do a barbell row, for instance, okay? All the areas that calisthenics fails to target, you're hitting that with the weight training accessories, you know, all the little muscle groups, right? And then for the legs, you divide that into a powerlifting type program. So any powerlifting program that seeks to increase your squat and deadlift, that's what you would do. And also, when you have all this combined, it creates like the ultimate splash over effect. All the muscle groups that I described that are typically lagging calisthenics, that will no longer be an issue because if you get your deadlift up, right, in the combination with the weighted chin ups and the rows and the band face pulls, your upper back's gonna be solid. You're not gonna have a, a lagging back like ever. It's gonna be really fucking good. Uh, likewise, your posterior chain, your glutes, hamstrings, everything's gonna be good. And the squats are gonna build your quads as well. So you're not gonna have any lagging areas, as well as your core too. Your core is gonna be pretty strong if you get good at squats and deadlifts. And then for the delts, you know, you do the incline pressing, that's gonna further develop your delts, gonna develop your upper chest. The side raises are gonna build your 3D delts. And uh, yeah, the combination of all those things, you should develop a really, really solid physique. You shouldn't need anything else. I think that if you program it that way, you're gonna have, a, you're gonna develop a pretty solid physique. So I hope this video has been of good use. That's how you combine calisthenics and weight training into one. All right. Let me know what you think down below. Remember, this is just one way of doing it. There's other ways of incorporating this. Maybe I should write a book on the topic. How would you like that? Right. A book on fucking combining calisthenics and weight training. Because this is just one facet. I just made this video top of my head. Five minutes just rambling. 
but I can really break this shit down if I want to because I have lots of experience in both. I, I can really, really break this down. So tell me what you want to see. Do you want to see more types of videos about calisthenics and weight training? Because I got the information, all right? And I have some good resources that I can bring along. So let me know what you think. Hope this video helped you out. Talk to you next time.